me obsess over me. At the risk of saying something controversial, here's the microphone. I'm gonna film this video. I, I, oh my god, I, I'm the same boy I used to be, and I have this vial of estrogen to prove it. Slay. So together, aka Thomas Bangalter, I'm not even French, and DJ Falcon, sample this song by Steve Winwood, you know, like, bring me a higher love. If you know, you know. Oh, honey. That's just like a, a DJ tool for their live set. Eric Prids is a Swedish name. I don't know Swedish, but I do know the international phonetic alphabet. That little Y sound is like I, and then round your lips, so it's like I, Prids, Prids, something like that. Am I right? Am I right? Am I, am I, am I close? Anyway, he samples it. He actually doesn't just sample it, he gets Steve Winwood to re-record the vocals so he doesn't need to clear the sample. That's not like the only time that's happened in the music industry, but like, look at the, not the radio edit, look at the... I feel conflicted about seeing this word because I took music lessons, so I know, you know, like in Italian when we're talking terms like pizzicato, like this word means, you know, like, like slow. But I'm also sensitive to the language that I use and how that affects people. I'm just making a note that like in the interest of like disability rights and stuff, that word is a, is a little fraught, is a, is a little problematic. That's why it's, it's weird talking about this. I'm not gatekeeping because like when I just simply am like, wow, I feel really gay when I listen to this song. That seems to scare off enough people. This thing, people bullied me for being a certain way. I know for some people, those people. I'm gonna have fun and be silly. You have like the intro section, like it's music so you should be using your ears, but like having that visual cue there, you can see the kick. This long pad, where you add some side chain compression so that when you have that part where you don't have the kick, the breathing of the compressor, it's like the, the 16th bar or something. 32 bars, the kick starts to fade out, the sample really starts to rise, you have that resonant filter sweep, you have that loop at the end, it tickles all of the best parts, mixed so well. Then you also have the Red Cult version. At least not in this video, I'm not gonna go down a whole rabbit hole. The music video is really wild though, because like, why would you need to do that with a towel? That's not, you're not working anything out there. I'm the same boy I used to be. Right, anyway. By the way, last year I was like, just really into doing sunglasses on camera. Plus like, if I was wearing sunglasses, you wouldn't get to see my beautiful eyes, so.